Hello again, my name is Dave Zoll, and this is the 9th of January 2018. Just read an interesting article, and it's posted by Reuters. I'm going to read you the entire article. I normally don't do this. I read pieces of it, and then I attach it for your further review and consideration. I'm still going to attach it, but I do want to read it, and you'll understand why at the very end. Title, New York State Lawmaker Charged with Fraud, Obstructing Justice. A New York State lawmaker was charged with 11 counts of fraud and obstruction of justice, accused of defrauding government agencies out of tens of thousands of dollars, including hurricane relief money, prosecutors said on Tuesday. In four alleged schemes between 2012 and 2016, Assemblywoman Pamela Harris submitted falsified documents. Hmm. Interesting, is it not? To obtain government funds for personal use, according to a statement from the U.S. Department of Justice. Harris, who represents a district in New York City, Brooklyn, Borough, also allegedly defrauded a bankruptcy court and falsely claimed to have been forced out of her residence by Hurricane Sandy to get financial assistance, it said. She was also accused of obstructing justice after instructing witnesses in 2017 to lie to Federal Bureau investigation agents after becoming aware of the grand jury's investigation into her alleged crimes. Joe Cohn, an attorney representing Harris, did not immediately respond to request for comment. Before and during her tenure as Assemblywoman, Harris allegedly went to great lengths to defraud local and federal agencies. FBI Assistant Director in Charge William Sweeney said in a statement, quote, In fact, at a time when many residents in her district were dealing with horrific aftermath of Hurricane Sandy, Harris was busy brewing a storm of her own, end of quote, Sweeney said. Harris, whose district stretches through the Brooklyn neighborhood of Bay Ridge, Coney Island, in Diker Heights, was arraigned on Tuesday at a U.S. District Court in Brooklyn. In one of the four alleged schemes between August 214 and July 215, when Harris was executive director of a not-for-profit organization in Brooklyn, she is accused of defrauding the New York City Council of $22,800 by falsely claiming the money would go toward rent for a studio art space for community use. After submitting a forged lease agreement, Harris transferred the funds to her personal checking account and used the money to pay for personal expenses, including monthly mortgage payments, clothing, and travel tickets prosecutors said. In another scheme, she's also accused of defrauding the Federal Emergency Management Agency of nearly $25,000 in temporary housing assistance by falsely claiming she had been forced out of her Coney Island residence by Sandy, claiming that it was uninhabitable. If convicted on all accounts, Harris, who was elected in November 215 in a special election and was re-elected in 216, faces a maximum sentence of 55 years in prison. Now, the reason I read you that entire article is because nowhere does it tell us about her political affiliation. I went ahead and I googled Pamela Harris and I looked her up on Wikipedia. Guess what her political affiliation is? Well, Democrat. You see, if she was a Republican, every time they mentioned her, they would have said Republican. So what that tells me is that Reuters sort of leans to the left. You might want to make them aware of that. I'll attach the article. You look at it. Let me know what you think. You know what else you might want to take a look into? You know who, well, remember Bernie Sanders' wife, Jane Sanders? I did a couple of articles on her, and she was being investigated for bank fraud. 
when she was president of a small university and her husband helped get a loan from that bank which she defrauded and that sort of went by to by but I read an article and it looks like that's being looked into again <laughs> so Bernie Sanders might find himself visiting his wife in a federal penitentiary she too should face the same kind of justice that Pamela Harris is soon going to be facing. Thanks for listening.